Oh, there you guys are. Uh, come on over here. Now, if y'all remember, a few months ago, uh, I came out with a video where I made this turtle enclosure right over here. I don't really have a plan for it. I just kind of made it in case my spotted turtles get larger or box turtles or I get wood turtles, whatever. I'm getting a lot of turtles always, so I just wanted to be ready. So I had that enclosure and you know what? I just wasn't really satisfied with it. It was like the 75 gallon tub that was sank in the ground, surrounded by a wooden box with like a sand pit shallow area for whatever critters I decide to keep in there. I just wasn't happy with it. So I thought I could make it a little bit better. And so here is that process. So here we have this enclosure that I really haven't used for anything. So a couple things need to be done. We need to take this plant and raise it. That way I can put the net over this entire thing so no critters get in here. This tub used to be in here, but it just, I didn't like it. And after one rainstorm, the water from underneath pushed it up and out after it was no longer filled with water. So I wanted to do something a little more permanent and I wanted to put something that I think will look better, be more naturalistic, and provide for some shallow areas and some spots for the critters to sort of climb up and get out rather than have steep and succinct walls. Also using a liner allows me to be way more playful with how I want to do things and way more creative to cater this to whatever animal I put in here and the needs of that critter. So here is the completed finished product. And I think that it actually, this turned out way better than I thought, to be honest. I thought this thing was gonna be a cesspool piece of garbage and it actually doesn't look half bad and it's serving its purpose really, really well. We can see it's pretty deep down at the bottom. I've got some crushed coral down there, some coral pieces. I've got some fake plants. I've got some branches and whatnot. We have a shallow sand area right there where I literally made a beach. There's just a few things that I wanna mention in case you guys decide to do this for yourself. Number one, use a higher, thicker, better liner. Give it a lot of slack as well because it is pulling in certain spots. Use higher quality wood. This stuff I absolutely love. I literally got this wire off of Amazon for like 50 bucks for a three foot roll by three by 50, I think it was. Then I just cut it in half. We threw some zip ties here. That way I can take these bricks off and open it up. If I was a wiser man, I would take a piece of wood, throw it right down the middle and then just make it so there's a latch on this side that I can unlatch and just flip open the whole thing. But meh. this whole thing's only gonna be here for all of like one season. So I just kind of whipped it together quick, quick. We've also got this little canister filter here. Again, if I was a wiser man and this was a more permanent setup, we would take that pump, have it come and drill a hole right here. And I would keep that canister filter outside and then have the return go in like this way or the opposite way. Also use smaller screws, whoopsie diddle. All in all though, this thing is not not friggin' bad for what it is. It holds together, uh, I, it's predator proofed pretty well. I think it's fairly difficult to get in here. We got leaves, we've got sand, we've got some oysters. We got, you know, places for a box turtle, spotted turtle to bury themselves for plants to grow in. And then I went ahead and to predator proof everything, I went with a staple gun and I stapled the nuts out of half of this. So half of that is, is staying, half of this netting. And then the other half is on zip ties. That way when I remove the heavy spots, I can take this whole thing and flip it open. And now I just have to 
get some critters to go in this thing. What do you guys think? Maybe some of these troublemakers over here I'll put in there potentially. These guys keep running around the pond, going back and forth, doing all kinds of wacky stuff. All right, guys, let me know what you think that we should do next video. Drop a comment of what types of turtles that we should put in this new turtle friggin' enclosure. I built it with no plans in mind. I just wanted to have it so it's done and revamp it. And because I get bored and I like to do stuff, I'm speaking too much. That's it. This video's over. Thanks so much for watching. See y'all in the next one.